everybody. This is Moses from Zot There Gardens. This is episode 65 of Gardening Without Edits. I just did a video on my, I'm in my grandmother, my late grandmother's yard, um, garden that is, and I did a video just now of the large fig tree. Let me turn it around right over here. Um, if I've edited this quickly enough, I'll put that video in the screen right now, but let me talk about the grape plant that I've always talked about. I'll also put another video when it was dormant, this humongous grapevine she planted. So I'll show you the base. And my biggest enemy, and I always told my grandmother, don't do it, is mint. You see all this mint? One little plant became all this. And there was the cat just ran over, the cat Zaig, which means flower in Armenian. It's right over there. She's in the other video, close up. I don't know if I could get at the base. Where's the base at? You see the base? You see how huge that is? The base of the grape. So this is my grandmother's grape. And this, oh shoot, ultra wide is horrible at night. So the base is right there. Look how big that one vine, I mean, excuse me, that one base grape, um, grape plant gets. And it'll go all over the roots. Isn't the sunset pretty? Oh, 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 roots. It'll go all over the roof. I looked at the sunset and I forgot what word to use. But it'll go, it'll go all the way on the roof. All the way to the top if you, don't, if you let it. But, sorry for the noise. You can see. Still thick. Even though we're at the end. Still thick. So this thing is still going to want to climb. Um, Central California zone 9B, grapes and figs grow like crazy here. They grow like weeds, literally like weeds. So just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. This is a Thompson. Uh, the video I linked to this in this video, if I can link enough videos in this video, this, a cutting of this plant in my yard beat out Dave Wilson's nursery in terms of growth coming out of dormancy and fruit production. It beat out Dave Wilson Nursery. And my grandmother has been propagating this plant, this Thompson grape for decades. Um, I mean, just look at how beautiful this is. I mean, imagine if this was done better with an arbor or something or a gazebo and you just walk in like you're in a mystical land, like I'm gonna walk into Narnia right now. <laughs> but anyways, I miss you, Nene. Happy gardening, everybody.